trainer's quarters. We're gonna see the uh, Link versus the Wii Fit trainer. As you know, three, Brett is gonna have to really one, use those projectiles and he can off the ledge against numbers, who will in fact be off the ledge. Wow. Great start for Brett already. Ooh, and already going in with a lot of the movement in there. The down tilt to up air already putting 60% onto John Numbers. And John Numbers playing around with the bomb. Very nice use of the bomb right there. Putting on some percent in return to Brett. And this is... Oh, you thought that was kind of shimoogie. That was kind of shimoogie. Tell, tell me, we got some right movement there. going on this on small battlefield right now. Absolutely. And I definitely love this stage choice to the you know effect of both of these players. I definitely love Small Battlefield just because it's, in my opinion, a better PS2. Better to, you know, for scrapping because apparently people hate that people camp in this game. But speaking of stuff like that, we have that nice up smash taking off John's first stock with the quickest of fashions at only 99%. Point look at look at John. Brett just absolutely going crazy here using the, uh, the obviously bananas, the boomerangs, and, uh, and the bomb as long as he can. Bomb being, being really useful. I actually like the fact that John kept held the bomb for as long as he could uh, in the first game, the first like stock. And Brett coming back, great. I'm Absolutely. surprised Number wasn't able to be able to um, use use a link up to his uh, advantage. Mm, absolutely, but I really think that John is struggling a little bit here, specifically because it might be a little bit hard for John to actually punish the landings that Brett has. And that definitely looked like it could have been death right there, but oh. There we go. We saw that with Louis Jesus. That was definitely looking like John wanted to end that stock off right there. But again, we're at 177% and this stock needs to go soon. I'm loving that Brett is avoiding a lot of these salutations and the F tilt that um, numbers keep trying to pull out when when Brett's trying to recover off the, on the ledge, off the onto the stage. So you know what, Brett doing an amazing job against numbers, already getting 80% off of our uh, off of HF3K's own uh, John numbers. So you know what. Great play on him right now. If he keeps doing what he's doing, he's gonna easily take this first game for himself. Oh no. Oh! John! John! <gasps> no, there's no way. There's absolutely John! no way. John, you messed it up. You had it. And then another up smash oh kill. Oh my god. Brett, it's John. Brett is up two stocks against John Numbers. And John Numbers, if you've noticed, hasn't really been doing a lot of edge, like, like ledge guard or ledge plays right now. And no, hasn't been hanging off ledge too much, hasn't been charging some citations. That's definitely gonna tell. Yep. Absolutely, taking off that stack at 203%. That is very crazy on John Numbers' part because we've never seen a situation where John has been two stocks down. At this of. much of a deficit against, you know, against oh. anyone, really. Tom, I'm so surprised, I'm so proud of Brett right now, you know, keeping a really cool, calm, cool, and collected up, like, head right now against uh, someone like Numbers, who is so scary, honestly. Absolutely, for sure. And speaking of scary, that uh -oh. 85%. Is, scary is extremely scary right here. That boomerang rate reached all the way out there. You might get another up smash kill. Yes, we are. Absolute three games. I mean, three stocks with up smash. Can you believe John lost this game to three up smashes? Three up smashes. I mean, they are very wide. They they're very wide and they hit three times. Like that that's scary. That's scary. Link is scary. This is getting scary out here. It's, it's been scary, bestie. I don't know. Like, living until 203%, that's real scary. That's so... So I, th I think now Numbers might be able... He has to get these deep breathings going. Like, I don't know what's going on. Where last game, he wasn't really off the ledge too much. Possibly because Boomerang and um, and Bomb just kept, kept messing up just like that. And honestly, Brett was also using the, the soccer ball against John as well. So you know what? John has kind of kind of has to make, be a little more aggressive against Brett if he wants any semblance of taking this game this to a game three. Absolutely, and not only that. Honestly, we've been seeing a, John just struggle to do anything really, struggling to you know follow up off of you know disadvantage whenever it comes to Brett's end, following up off of just like normal kill conversions. We've seen a lot of struggle from John on John's end. Honestly, that might be what John just needs to do because this this definitely could just be over it within a second, but. I think Brett is definitely making a little bit of a name for himself with this game right here, making sure he wants to end John's life. Hey, John's doing sending a lot of not fully charged sun salutations over over to Brett. Hopefully, now we have deep breathing on deck. Might be able to get a Derek here. Yes, we will get a Derek kill. 
I was expecting header and I'm gonna hold you, but I think uh, Sakura was gone by the time he was able to do any kind of header uh, shenanigans. But you know, this looks like a pretty pretty opposite game from game one, you know? You got I mean, right with the, with the stock deficit. Honestly, and to that effect, you know, you were talking about it before. John looked like he didn't really want to go too hard for those offstage kills, and that's actually how he took off this first game, feeling a little bit more comfortable, it feels like, and that's where we're ending up right now at 87% off of just one Nair. You know, honestly, this is really scary. Yeah, again, complete 180 from the first game, getting another out smash. Not kill, though. Getting an out smash, <laughs> just not a kill. Oh, oh, that's funny. Ooh. That's funny. You poked the bomb, and the bomb exploded on you. You know, honestly, I definitely did not notice this. That was very good on Brett's part, again, with the up smash. You know, normally, Link's love to land with Nair. That's something we already know. But that was a very good mix-up on Brett's end. Just air dodging instead and ending up going for an up smash because he knows that's exactly what people want to do. They want to punish your Nair, but not giving it to them. Honestly, very good in this part. Yeah, a lot of these uh, boomerang plays I'm kind of noticing are putting John I at, at like, not his advantage, but he's not catching him as often as he should be. That at least have, that we know of numbers. And you know, it, it's, it's messing up, it's messing him up a little bit. And Brett's also able to kind of parry or block away these uh, these sucker balls and these sensations that John keeps throwing out at him. Oh, bye. Ooh. That deep breathing there is going to take the stock at 147 percent. I've never seen their kill. That's very weird. But and with deep breathing. That that is to be true. Fair. But. Never seen a kill. Me neither. I'm very surprised. <laughs> Hate it here. Honestly, 72% only. Honestly, this is this is very again, like you said, a very opposite game from the first one that we had here. And John is looking like he's going back to his ways, playing at ledge like he does, the doing the John things. Yeah, that, that that's what he needed. Some more ledge, you know, uh gathering his resources, his deep breathing, oh, his sun citations, and that F smash. Oh that was a bait. my god. That was a bait. That's big. That's humongous. That was this such is a big. good bait from Brett's end. Knowing that maybe John wanted to pick up the bomb, and that's exactly what he did, especially with that jump. You can jump and then grab bomb at the same time. That's really cool. Something you should know. Um, <laughs> that's what Number's been doing. He's, he's been pick, just picking up the bomb, so you know Brett's going to just use that to his advantage. He's like, come on, you, you want it so bad. Ooh, you want it so bad. Did he just cancel the bomb with shield? Yeah. You I think could so. do that? Are you kidding? See, I'm a play link, so anything he does, anything, I'm like, wow, I didn't know he can do that. Well, oh, numbers wow. really blew up at timing to when when uh, that bomb explodes, because you know you can't you can't really time it because it's whenever they want. They can press a button whenever they want and it explodes. So good at numbers for not getting into those, uh, those bomb traps. Oh no! But again, the boomerang is just messing him up. The boomerang gets a bomb true combo free. <laughs> Honestly, this is looking really scary for John. John was in a very advantageous position in the beginning of the game, but right now he's actually kind of struggling at ledge. He's kind of struggling to do anything, and it's looking a little scared if me thinks anything. I'm going to be completely you know honest. scary? Deep yeah. breathing. That is very true, but what is deep breathing if you cannot get off ledge? God, I I'm waiting for, uh, as I, I, was, I was waiting for, F2, uh, F, uh, fair into, come kind of, he didn't do F2 over here. Yeah, I told you. He's been going for those F2 a lot off ledge, and you know, Brett was really good at avoiding it, but you know, that sun citation is going to be catching him off guard. And the game at 137%, when he had such a good, like, neutral slash sight advantage, and you're gone. Absolutely. That was definitely super close for Brett, Don't but not going to be enough to take it yourself. just yet. That it does mean we are going to a game three. See now, John is able. See, John has now adapted to this situation. First game, you know, I think the first game he was kind of just using it to gather data, and now the data has been downloaded. Look honestly, our, and now he's like, all right, is ours. He must, literally is like, must destroy. I know what to do Especially against Link now. Especially like that down there that we just had right there. And that was nasty. Destroyed. Mm -hmm. Let's see, what, what are we doing? This is uh, not even the right Xeno. How dare you? How dare me? I just saw it and I pressed the button. Anyways, but again, uh, honestly, ooh, three. No, you're literally kidding. You're playing with me. You're playing with me. Three houses of music. Give me the three houses of music. You're literally playing games. With no, me. put Dragon Quest music on. Uh, it's better. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna have everyone in the chat scream at me. But we are going back to small battlefields. We definitely need to see 
how Brett decides to adapt to this game overall. Honestly, you know, if you're not careful, John will slip right under you and take this set. And here okay. we go, we're going right back to small battlefield. And honestly, we're going to see, hopefully now Numbers going to be doing a lot more ledge play at the moment, which is what was happening earlier. You know, honestly, this is definitely already looking pretty even. John is just continuing to go back to where he is. You know, staying at ledge, this is definitely where John loves to play. But honestly, John is looking like it's making a really good use for him, honestly. But never mind, because no, 69%. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> I love nice. that we're on that wave. But anyway, speaking, of, speaking of waves, um, honestly, Brett is looking like he's ready to make some waves because honestly... Come on, Brett, do not oh, smash. Oh, John smash. keeps getting caught in them. Absolutely, but, you know, only pretty even still, honestly. Well, Numbers is now being a little more aggressive, using Sun Station as a way to kind of uh, enter this, enter Brett's space. And, oh, missing the, the up the... But getting the dare, getting the pogo stick, that's what we call it, pogo stick. Pogo stick. It's po it go bound bounce. It go brr. It go bound bounce. Same thing, honestly. It go brr. Pogo stick <laughs> go brr. So, so does deep breathing go brr. Oh! What you said about deep breathing? It go brr. <laughs> <laughs> For you know sure. what also goes brr? The, the up tilt, like, hello? Yes, absolutely. But at 123%, that was very good on Brett's end. And still just trying to make some, you know, extra damage for himself. John still has deep breathing, but John isn't actually doing anything with it. And if you're not careful, you're gonna get yeah. hit with the header off stage. Losing their first off. This is a nail biter. If I can have anything to say about it. John is looking like he is having a run for his money. Do you see this? I love this. Oh no, not being able to clip, clip to the ledge after Uppy. Could have been a major punish, but you know, only. Not really getting much off of that off from from John, you know. Really, really insane. Yeah, probably, probably has hate just for a moment, but honestly, again, pretty even game. Slowly getting more percentage off of on John numbers as Brett continues to go with these jabs. Oh no, not sun salutations. Yes, the sun salutations, bestie. Putting all of the sun. You have to, you have to pray to the sun of the Lord. Honestly, um, but yeah, for sure. I really feel like. Uh, what did you just see the three nares in a row? What's going oh, on here? Oh, that was smart. That was that was huge, because that that uh, that could have taken that his second stock. But you know, the backer uh, instead actually. Absolutely, very good on John Numbers' part and trying to extend that advantage. You saw that Oof. got the back air. Was trying to go for something saucy right there, but not saucy enough. And putting on 58% extra credit. And if we get any more extra credit percent right here, this is definitely going to look very bad for oh John. My God. But okay. that up smash is going to take it. And we are even again. This is such a close set on both of their ends. This John is so Numbers important. is so scared right now. I, Numbers has, has to, to be uh, doing it, has to like play as much as he can right now. Has to close out of stock if he wants, even some is not have to go through the gruesome battle of losers, honestly. Because this is a. Pretty sad, cause you know, with what we have in losers right now. So you know what? I know numbers does not. Oh no, does not want to deal with with uh, losers at the moment. And near, near this Brett, and Brett's doing an amazing job making sure he does not get killed. But you know, deep breathing is on deck. We have. Ooh, it's not gonna kill. But you know what? Deep breathing is on deck. We're gonna be seeing uh, some crazy stuff going. Oh, I thought it was gonna F to it right there. It would have been it. Absolutely, but Brett is at 127 oh, no, percent. Oh God. Absolutely. I feel like this is, he thinks this is very scary. And that was so close to killing. Brett but. keeps getting hit by these salutations that are entering his space. And that f is definitely going to take it with deep breathing on at 176%. Really good run from Brett in winners with seeing in losers. But wow, you have John Numbers running for his money. I will tell you that much, Brett. Absolutely, for sure. And that's just going to be it. You know, so many good situations. And that was such a nice bait right there from John Numbers. Getting that, um, you know, fair as a bait into the F tilt. Very nice. And that's that's the set. I'm, I'm being completely honest. That was that was real scary. I'm anxious. It's, it was getting scary. Actually, that was, that first sure. game was horrifying. I was mm. like, what is happening? Second game, going John numbers. But it was a close game. Like, you cannot say that wasn't a close game no matter what. Like, 